Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel here at Hennessy Honda. This is the 2019 Honda Ridgeline RTLE. We're gonna be reviewing this vehicle today on the inside and out. You'll notice this is the modern steel metallic exterior paint with the black leather on the inside. The truck bed already comes pre-coated. The tailgate opens two different ways. It comes open like a door or it folds down like a regular tailgate with the in-bed storage system. This truck also has the in-bed speakers, Garmin navigation, Honda Sensing, just to mention a few. It features a 3.5 liter V6 engine, and this has normal snow, mud, and sand mode, and it's in an all-wheel drive as well. So many, many, many features to enjoy. Without further ado, let's check out the new 2019 Honda Ridgeline. But thanks again for coming by our channel, viewing one of our vehicle review videos. Make sure you like the video, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below about what your favorite part of this new truck is. Thanks again, guys. Let's check out the new truck. All right, the first thing you're gonna notice when you walk up to a new Ridgeline is these nice bright LED headlights. Uh, they are all lit up right there. You can see them flickering. And then down below you have your uh, front parking sensors and your fog lights. And then coming across, you have a nice chrome grill and your Honda sensing features work because there is a, a radar right here and the camera sensor is actually right up behind the windshield right there. The camera, not the sensor. Uh, and then you have, again, another parking sensor right down here, fog lights and your bright LED lights. This is the modern steel metallic paint with the black leather on the inside. And then these down below here are your alloy wheels. These are 18 inches. They're, again, two-tone black and alloy finished. That's kind of pretty common for the Honda models right now. And these are Firestone tires. So on these nice big side view mirrors, you'll notice there's no uh, lane watch camera. You do have the blind spot indicators on this model. And then you're gonna have the push button start along with the remote start and you can lock or unlock the truck just from the handle like you would on any other Honda. These come with back privacy glass right here. Those are nice and dark and you have a nice big back door it's a it's a four-door truck as you can see and then coming along here you no longer have the slant here which I personally did not like about the old ridge lines some people don't like this model some people are very happy that they don't have the slant right there anymore anyway regardless uh, you have the flat truck bed look like a normal looking truck now and uh, you'll notice in the back, you don't have your wheel wells sticking up, so you have tons of space back there. Uh, but coming back through the back area here, you'll notice you have a power sliding uh, window right there, which I'll show you. And then back here, a couple really cool features. You have the tailgate, which folds down like a normal truck, but then you also have this handle right here where it says release, and you can pull this, and it opens just like a car door. So you have a tailgate that opens all the way up. So instead of having to step up and high and over, you can actually open that up and use that as a, a brace for your, you know, your body weight and jump right into the truck. It's actually a lot easier to get up into the, to the uh, bed of the truck if you need to get up there. Along the back here, you'll notice that you have your four parking sensors in the rear, chrome features throughout, and then you have a hitch standard with the little pin right there, the little connector for your uh, brake lights for your trailer if you need that. So you do have that hitch standard, you don't have to put it on. And your backup camera is gonna show right there on the back of the vehicle. That's three different views, like normal with Honda now. So if you're wide angle, normal, and then vertical straight down past the bumper. The vertical camera view is really nice if you're backing up with this hitch, lining up a boat or something like that. You don't need somebody's help now. You could just kind of do it on your own just by looking at the backup camera, which is awesome. And there is your sliding glass door on the RTLE model. And then these are your little hooks right here where you can tie stuff down. And then over here, you'll notice you have this nice bright LED light. So at night, that's gonna light up on both sides. And then in this little storage compartment, you have the uh, 115 volt household outlet right here. So you can take this off and then this, you can plug in whatever you need to, whether you're tailgating or doing yard work. Uh, if you need that outlet, you can utilize that and you can power that on or off in the uh, front near the driver's seat. So basically, if you're gonna open this back tailgate right here, you can open it just like a door, just like that. 
and now that's going to open all the way up like that and this bed is already pre-coated you don't have to put a rhino liner or anything like that or a bed mat back there it's all coated already as you can see and you, you'll notice your wheel wells aren't really in the way so you can fit an ATV a dirt bike back here a lawnmower whatever you really would want to use it for you can you have plenty of space another really really cool unique feature for the Honda Ridgeline uh, which I haven't seen in any other truck correct me if I'm wrong but uh, you have this locking mechanism here you can open up this little storage compartment in the bed of the truck and your spare tire is actually tucked away beneath there and then down here, you have this full bin. Uh, you know, you can use this for whatever you want. You can use, you could fill it up with ice. You can store mulch in there. You can put your golf clubs in there. Here's a pro tip: if you're parking your your truck at the airport or putting valuables in your truck and you're traveling for a long time and leaving it, um, for example, golf clubs, put them in here. This locks. It's waterproof, and there's a drain plug down there, so your golf clubs will stay dry. Nobody should steal them or even know they're in there. Um, if you're tailgating, you could fill that up with water, ice, and then use that drain plug right there and empty it all out. But from the exterior, it is completely waterproof. Last feature before we move on, on the tailgate, uh, which you can't see, but you can hear, and I can't show you because of copyright laws with music. However, this truck bed on the RTL E does have the speakers in the bed. So you can go to your screen uh, up front there uh, pair your phone to the Bluetooth or put on the satellite radio or the FM and you can crank it up pretty much as loud as the radio will go and there's speakers on both sides there there and there and this will get pretty loud really cool for parties or if you're out doing you know, yard work and you want to put the truck bed audio on uh, that feature again is unique to the Ridgeline haven't seen it anywhere else correct me if I'm wrong but um, you can actually also roll around your neighborhood and be obnoxious too if you want to or be the cool guy at the tailgate you can actually get the truck up to about 10 miles an hour before the tailgate audio turns off. All right, on the driver's side, up front here, you have your two memory seat settings right there. Then you have your gas lid button right there. That's gonna open that on the left side. And then right up here, right next to your uh, side mirrors, you're gonna have your blind spot indicators on both sides, which replace the lane watch camera. As we come to the left of the steering wheel, you'll notice you have quite a few buttons going on over here you have your parking sensors right here road departure mitigation there traction control collision mitigation this is your cargo light in the bed of the truck and this is how you would bring power to the 115 volt uh, outlet in the truck bed back there econ button right here and mirror adjustments right here on the steering wheel you have your standard buttons that you're used to seeing on newer Hondas. You have your plus and minus is your volume, radio controls and sources here. Then you have your page button here which will cycle through your navigation, phone and music all hands free. Or not hands free but it's a shortcut right there instead of messing with it on the touch screen while you're driving. Bluetooth is down there and then over on the right side you have your cruise control and Honda sensing buttons there and then the up and down arrows here will cycle through your options on the center screen here. On the new Ridgeline, you have an eight-way power driver's seat and a six-way power passenger seat. And on this model, this is the black leather. It has the perforated seats with this gray stitching right here. It's black throughout the whole thing. Even if you had a gray interior, this would still be black up here. And it has like the piano black finish right here along the climate control and around the touch screen as well. Coming down to the middle below that touch screen, you have your push button start, which is flashing red, and you have your tri-zone climate control. So driver, passenger, and rear seats all have their own air, and it looks like that. And you, it's all digital. You can, can just control it like that and adjust the rear settings there if you want to. Down below your climate control, you'll notice you have your heated seat buttons, your power outlet, which is a 12-volt power outlet right there, and you have your USB port. That's the one you would use for Apple CarPlay, and it is a 1.5 amp USB. Now this truck is a 3.5 liter V6, and it is an all-wheel drive, so you can tow up to 5,000 pounds. One of the neater features about it is the fact that it has this little button here, which will change it from normal to snow to mud to sand, depending on which condition you're driving in. So you really could take the truck anywhere, 
drive it to and from work, drive it in the city, and then you can, you know, head out to, uh, you know, the sand dunes or what have you on the weekend and drive your ATV and do truck stuff. Down here, you have a good bit of storage right down here, and then you'll have your another 12-volt power outlet, auxiliary port, and a 1-amp USB port down there as well. So three USB ports total in the truck, two 12-volt power outlets, aux port, and a 115-volt outlet in the bed of the truck. Last but not least, you do have a sunroof in the RTLE along with the power sliding glass door in the back right there. That opens that. And then you have your home link buttons along here and your LED map lights right there. All right, coming along to the uh, back area here. So again, it's a four-door truck. You can seat five people or four people if you'd like. Um, my favorite part is the fact that these seats, you have plenty of space, right? But you pull this handle up and this locks up just like that. You can do it with one hand. I'm holding a camera right now and I can do it. But uh, you'll notice that you don't have the transmission tunnel that you would have in a normal truck. What that means is even with these seats down, as you can see the one above me is up and this one is um, down, you can fit a rifle if you're hunting, uh, you can fit individual golf clubs, baseball stuff back there, or just you know random stuff that would fit under there. Uh, that's about a foot tall. So you have that space there and then you have your 2.5 amp USB port in the back as well with your vents for the passengers in the rear. This one also has the all-weather mat here and throughout the rest of the vehicle so you can see what that looks like as well. And here's a shot of the back with the center console and cup holder down just so you guys can see what that looks like. This leather is really soft and comfortable. And then coming up here, uh, I have the power sliding glass door open right now in the back. That control is right where the sunroof control would be. It slides right open, so that's pretty neat. I'm a dog person, so if we put our dogs in the back, I would imagine that the lab would you know, use that for air and stick his nose out there. That's pretty nice. All right, guys, that does it for the 2019 Honda Ridgeline RTLE. We hope you enjoyed this review. If you have any questions about this vehicle, you can leave a comment down below. We'll get back to you pretty quickly. Or if you want to come see the vehicle or ask any questions in person, we invite you into our showroom on Highway 92 in Woodstock, Georgia. Our website is listed in the description down below so you can view all of our inventory at your convenience. Our number is down there as well if you'd like to call us. And again, like the video, give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and subscribe so you can see new videos weekly. Thanks again. We'll see you on our next video.